Hi, I'm Gina James Okorie, the founder of JOTEC Electrical. Welcome to our channel. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Engineer James Okorie and in this uh, video I will be building an automatic changeover using only one contactor. I will be using one contactor and I will be using a timer. This is a timer. So I will be using a timer and I will be using this drawing. I will be making use of this uh, uh, drawing uh, to build the uh, automatic changeover and I will be making use of this alarm. This uh, timer is to control this alarm and I will be using this light as my load the load to my house you know to supply my house so I will be using making use of this one and the, the automatic changeover I'm building one is uh, I'm using one contactor uh, two different supplies uh, maybe this one uh, I call this one supply one and this one I call it supply two that is this supply two so uh, this one also as well is the alarm system uh, is alarm so this one uh, are the terminals of the contactor and this one l1 l2 l3 t1 t2 t3 and the 13 21 22 14 all of these are the terminals of this uh, contactor as you can see you will see l1 you will see l2 you will see l3 you will see t1 t2 t3 you will see uh, from part 1 32 from here at this point that's one that two then 43 44 that is normally open and normally closed so uh, i will be using this to build it and i will be using this one as my nepa side that supply one that is this supply one nepa or uh, pcn then i will be using this one as my uh, second uh, supply that supply two generator or, in, or inverter then uh let me start so uh remember uh, this a uh, timer in every timer there is always a diagram like this one uh this one as well is a timer just like this you will always see the diagram of connection uh these ones uh, you, you will always see them that, that's uh, timers and you will always see them um boldly drawn on the body of the timer so i will be using only this one so uh, let's just start the connection so i will be making use of this uh my diagram all right the diagram says from this point so i'm connected from this point now the diagram says uh I, my life and neutral supply goes to l1 and l2 so from l1 and l2 it enters to a1 and a2 so this one is my um supply i'm using this one as my nepa supply so i will be connecting uh right L1 and L2 so this one is my L1 so and this is my supply cable so I will just supply use two of them when tightening please tight firmly so there won't be any partial contact so uh this one is okay so uh and the other one says mm, the neutral point to l2 so and the l2 goes to a2 of the coil this is a contactor coil this is the coil of the contactor so uh i will just uh, add this to another neutral cable right so i will connect to this place all right okay so it enters the coil and mind you the alarm system this is the alarm this is the alarm this is an alarm one leg of the alarm enters the a2 and one leg this is normally uh, close of this timer this is normally close of this timer so what will i do i will just take uh, one leg of the alarm that's the neutral part you know alarm you can use anyway anyhow but i will use one leg and i will connect it to a2 so i will use this and i will connect with this i will join it with this so i will connect to a2 and this is my a2 as the coil of my contactor
ensure you ensure firm connection please tight firmly and electrically all right so after tightening the draw to make sure it's firm so the, now uh, one of the legs of my timer of oh, sorry of my alarm have been connected to this now what will i do this is my timer and in every timer there's normally open and normally close so and there is supply system you know a timer you must uh, supply it for it to work so i will be using uh, a cable so i will use this one you know to connect with this as the wire that goes from this l1 to the a1 of the timer so i will use this one this is my a1 of the uh, sorry of the coil of the contactor so this is my a1 of the coil of the contactor okay ensure firm connection so after it i will use this one and i will supply the alarms and um, the timer so this uh, my half part okay so all right so for your normally close to work you must do what you must loop from the supply uh, to the common because uh, I've shown you the 15 is normally uh, closed with 16 and normally open with uh, in terminal 18 the same thing goes to 25 normally closed with 26 and normally open with uh, 28 so 15 and 25 are the common so I'm connecting this to terminal number 16 which is this as the common Okay. Now I can connect one leg of my uh, my alarm. I can then connect it to the normally close, which is terminal number eighteen. Okay. Make sure you draw it to make sure it's firm. So now uh, my nepal side is now complete. This side is now complete uh, with the timer. So this side is complete. Remaining my generator side. So let me hurry up and do it. So I will use. I tell you that I will be using this supply as my generator part. So to supply this. So what will I do? My L L and the N. That's life and neutral of my um, generator side goes to terminal number twenty one and twenty um, thirty one. And mind you. 31 and 32 are normally closed, 21 and 22 are normally closed, 13 and 14 are normally open, 43 and 44 are normally open. So, uh, and all these terminals I've shown you um, from this contactor. So, what will I do? I'll connect this one to terminal number 31 and 21. So, I will use this one for 31. And I will use one for 21. Right, and from that same diagram, it says from um, 32 and to T2, from 22 to T1, that 22 goes to T1, 32 goes to T2. So I will just take a uh, look from 32. This is my 32. Okay. This is my T2. And mind you, my 32 and T2 goes with load. Because this is the load. So my load goes to T1 and T2. So I will connect one leg of this to this.
and I will then loop this one again at my 22 from the diagram right to T1 which goes with this so uh, Right. So, mind you, I have not linked the neutral of my timer because I'm just waiting to show you. In every timer, they normally close and normally open at different. But there, you must energize the timer for the timer to work. Before the timer can work, you must energize it. That is, you must put supply it with life and neutral to energize this in order for it to work you know to give you either normally open or normally close so uh i will just go ahead and uh, link the neutral so i will pick my neutral uh, from this my point right good then i will then supply the neutral of the timer and this is the neutral point everything is firm confirm your connection to make sure that everything is firm so I'm done with the connection now and the remaining thing I is to do what is to test so let's just go ahead and test first of all this is my generator part which is this generator part all right with this generator and my supply two and this one is my supply one which is my neighbor side which is this side so I will just go ahead and do what and test and this my load so if this one lights the light will shine so when the light shine you know that uh, your house uh, is now being supplied all right so uh, as we are testing now uh, this is my load as I've said so uh, this is my generator part so immediately um, maybe you are using your generator so there must be you know power so I will just go ahead and they on the generator so the generator you are not using your generator so your generator is giving you um, light so you are not using your generator and the, let's say they bring light once they bring light this alarm must sound and the, this timer must control the alarm and the, this uh, your contactor I um, will show you this one must energize and when it energizes it will switch to NEPA so let's just check and see so immediately they bring light look at what will happen you see the timer have now controlled the this and the, the uh, your uh, your uh, lights have not been switched to NEPA so even if you off your generator the light will still be on right so there's no light here at all so but the light is still on which means your NEPA is on and they maybe they take light and when they take light you know the generator it will be off okay so and let's say you are using your uh, generator again this is your generator and you are using your generator you have on your generator and you are using your generator and this is your generator and they say they bring light and when they bring light what will happen again the alarm will give you signal that they have brought light and this is it and the timer will control the alarm <laughs> you see so that's how automatic changeover works and thank you very much i still remain my humble self and uh, engineer james okori thank you thank you and thank you very much wow. all right thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos